going to show you how to decoupage and repurpose something. Now what we are going to repurpose is this old man right here. Looking at it, it definitely looks like a piece of shit, but it's built really, really well. And it was only $2.99. These are the items that I will be using today. There are some sander blocks, Mod Podge, chalkboard paint, project paper, a Mod Podge roller, some brand new knobs for on the drawers, and then the basics, scissors, a hand sander, and paint brushes, and a special guest! Hi! How are you? And LaCroix. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. For our first step, we have to remove these god-awful looking little wooden knobs. Now, it's going to be pretty simple because on the inside, it's just a screw. Get at it, honey. Next, what I'm going to do is Mod Podge the front of these, which is called like a deco podge. And we're going to use that paper that I showed you earlier. I have everything pre cut already to fit the front of the drawers. We're going with a little Atlas theme here. While I'm doing that, Aaron is going to be painting the base of this using this kind of chalk paint in the shade Oatmeal. Yummy. But first, before I decoupage the front, what I wanted to make sure that I did was paint the very top of these already in that oatmeal color. In order to decoupage, you do have to buy Mod Podge. I bought mine in a satin finish. You can get it in glossy or you can get it in matte, but I figured satin would look nice for the front of the dresser drawers. What you wanna do is make sure that the front of the drawer is clean, and then you're going to go over it and almost paint it with the Mod Podge. Once you have this top completely coated in the Mod Podge, and you're gonna notice it has like a glue consistency, you're going to want to take one of your papers, like what I have, and lay it out and line it up with the top of it because that is gonna be the part you're gonna see. So if it is a little uneven, you can kind of smooth it down over the bottom. to want to use is I bought a Mod Podge brand roller and it kind of smooths everything out and you want to do that as soon as possible. It just makes it so much easier being able to just roll it out. Next what you're going to want to do is protect this top coat once your paper is on and you're going to just repaint over it using the Mod Podge again. One thing you'll notice when you're mod podging the paper is it definitely gets very, very flimsy and more almost like a tissue paper consistency. Okay, and that, I just rolled that over down over the edge and this will be the part you won't see because it's going to be pushed into the drawer and this will be the bottom of it. three drawers that are all complete. And now that we are done doing the decoupage and done painting, I'm going to replace the knob handles. If you remember, this is what they look like. Just different. But now we are going to replace them with these pretty things. All right, so what I did was I came up from underneath and poked through so that you could tell where they need to go. 
and we're just gonna plop them right down in there. And screw them in. To distress it a little bit, we are sanding around the edges and on top just to kind of give it that more rough look. We roughed it up a little bit, gave it some rough edges. We have a complete product. Mm -hmm.